Hello, hello, hello. Do you see me? You see you, Richard? Hi. We're sitting in front of the Ponte Vecchio. Yes, and we're reminiscing about our trips to uh, Italy when we were younger. And, and, and recently. But yes, and recently, yes. Yeah, Richard and I go back like a thousand years, so I hope you guys can hear me. So if you want to come in here and do a um, thumbs up if you're on me live, letting me you can hear, because we have like this really janky setup right now. You should be using your arm, actually. We're, we're <coughs> having, first of all, I apologize for laryngitis. I apologize for sounding like allegedly Harvey Firestein's stepdaughter. But um, <laughs> I, my, I'm fighting a cold, so I'm here with Richard. We're back. Can you see? I'm back in New York, and um, we're sitting in front of the Ponte Vecchio chatting. I'm going to give you this to Richard for a second. Can you hold it? Because his arm's probably steadier than mine. Try holding it. We don't have a tripod. Okay. Oh, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> see? Someone doesn't know how to hold a camera. And what happens when you don't know how to hold a camera and take your own photos? You need to go to AuthenticSuperstar.com. My free five-day challenge that's not going to be free for long. We're taking early birds right now. AuthenticSuperstar.com. And I promise you'll learn how to stand out in your brand. But anyway, let me give you to this, because Richard has some photography tips too. Obviously not on himself. So can you, you want to hold it? But not put your no, hands uh, yeah, there, like there that. you go. Okay. Got it, now all right, a little further now back. Now your head looks like a basketball. What's I know, going I have on? a big head to begin with. It looks bigger than May it usually is. You know what? Right. I'm gonna sit. Here, we're gonna do this. All right. Sorry. We are live. We're regrouping here. It's <laughs> just totally impromptu. All right. That is so not yeah, go back. All right, okay. you're just gonna use my arm. Okay, okay. we're gonna just use Thank my you. arm. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so if we, we're wobbly, we're not drunk, we're just unstable. So, anyway, Richard and I are having lunch and. We were talking about expanding his business. Richard um, is actually one of my best and oldest, oldest friends. friends. We yeah. know each other forever and ever. And ever. And um, I have a tour business in Paris. I, yeah. I do private Richard. tours of Paris. And I've been looking to expand my business um, for a long time. It's been steady and it's been really good, but I want to go it's to the next great. level. And, uh, but it's all on himself. Yes. Richard, and this is kind of a problem that a lot of entrepreneurs face is you start to think that it's all about me. Like no one will buy my service if it's not me. No one can do anything better than me. So what happens is when you start getting your own me, me, me syndrome, it A, burns you out and B, holds you back. Excuse me, I could barely talk. No, B, it's true. Because holds you back only, from scaling. Yeah, I mean, there's only so many walking tours I, I, I could do physically, you know? And so the thing is, I'm looking to expand it's got my bad business. Feet. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, bad back, bad feet. And so um, I'm looking to find other ways to expand my business and also retain my name and my brand uh, without necessarily being me doing every tour. So Sharon, what, what, what do you so think? So what we've been talking about is a whole different idea. And one of it, Richard is on these tours, he's been taking photographs of these really beautiful things in Paris and he has his first pretty decent size, very impressive photography exhibition of his um, pa Paris, you, photos. Paris yeah. photos. But what's happening is, excuse me, I'm going to choke. <coughs> Some water? Uh, no, it's not. It's just the laryngitis, it's the okay. Harvey Firestein voice. So anyway, what, what happens is, is uh, we're talking about different ways of him, A, creating a larger audience online, and B, kind of branding it and certifying his very unique way of doing Paris tours. So first about doing it online, and if you guys have been following me, you'll be noticing one of the things that I've been doing, and on and off for the last three years, I would say, and for the last six months in this very different way, which I've been getting a lot of help on from my business coach, um, Frank Kern, but I've been doing that way before that. And that is creating videos that are either slice of life, bringing people with you, which Richard is already yeah. doing something on, on I YouTube. I have a YouTube channel and I go to uh, a different restaurant or food shop every week and try like French food or different French dishes that I really enjoy that are really popular. And so um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's fatting. But it's fat. But Creme brulee, it hot a chocolate. A lot of cheese. Yes. So anyway, the, the problem is, is that YouTube, just like email, is really difficult to break into. When I had my YouTube channel, um, really busy seven years ago, and I used to do impromptu madness with Brad Bulls, we would get, or I would do a lot of the stuff on my own. 
I would get a lot, a lot of views, a lot of views, like huge amounts. And now, basically, unless you've been consistent, it's very difficult to get more than, you know, a very small number of views. And it's kind of like, it's a, it's it's a lot of work it's if a, you don't get that many it's views. It's a lot of work, yeah. and you really do need to advertise to actually yeah. get seen. Well, on any social media now. Mm. So. YouTube is also going the way of email, where email used to be a very primary source of gathering names, giving somebody a freemium, and then having them, you know, get be on your list and sending them stuff. Yeah, that's cool, but email is not anything near what it used to be anymore. The open rates between GDPR and Google, it's, it's just really down. <coughs> Excuse me. So one of the best ways to really connect with people is by doing what we're doing now, is just being authentic on lives, taking these impromptu. lives, impromptu, yeah. showing people where you are, what you're doing, engaging on where you are, taking that live, which is follow sort of a format of making sure people know what you're doing. And you know, with me, it's AuthenticSuperstar.com is where I want you to go, so that you can you know learn how to learn how to really build your brand this way with, with photos from the start. Because every good video starts with a photo to set up and composition and all that good stuff. So you start these lives, and then you can edit out all the coughs and the jokes and the pukes and the too much information, and you make it into a more refined post. We put them in wrappers, and you'll see them as a call to action. You can use them for ads, then you can take that same post and repurpose it as a blog post from the same information, which is what I've been doing as well. So we're talking, Richard and I are talking about having him do that as well, and then additionally, I'm gonna to have to change my hand. I mean, can I take you off camera for a second? Yes. Oh, see, now I got my hands on there. Okay. And then additionally, finding a way for him to be able to scale his tour business where it's not it's not only on him. I'm gonna give him the talk while I choke. So you can see what we were talking about. Yeah, ways so of it's, it. it's like I said, for, uh, <coughs> basically it's been me all these years doing the tours. And like I said, I'm starting to get a little burnt out of doing it for myself. Uh, walking around sometimes in the snow or the cold or the rain, uh, though I do love what I do. So I, I love what I do, other but I want to hire other. Uh, yeah, I want to hire other people to do it for do it for me. Yeah. So there's a way of you know you, when you have a business that's solely branded on you and you have your own unique business system and your way of doing it that people come to you. It it's very easy to be hesitant to actually give away the baby, but you yeah. can't. You don't want to give away the baby, but you want to be able to train the baby to work for you so that you can scale. And there's different ways of doing it. It's like taking your entire tour, mapping it out, and giving it to someone or your program. Mm. That they could be one of your consultants or one of your coaches if you're in a coaching environment. Or they could be one of your guides, whatever it is. But they have been fully trained by you yes. so that they could create the same thing. And Richard can even put in the same stale jokes. Yes, and exactly. Then, and then they can add their own fresh jokes to your own Yes, stale and, and my favorite joke is uh, if I'm with children, I say, okay, behave yourself or I'll beat the crepe out of you. Party, party. Oh, are, are. You it's either gets eye rolls or laughs. It depends on the And then the what do you get? And what do you, what's your favorite older person joke? Uh, older person joke. Uh, oh, France is the only place where you could say nice set of knockers because they're on doors and oh. not insult someone. So, it tells anyway, you they're really go. bad. They're really so don't, bad. You yes. think he, don't you think he would be better with other people? Yeah, this is why I'm a failed stand-up comic. But anyway. <laughs> and he tried. Yes. Anyway, so you know there's different ways of doing it and then that could also become something that you, you create and you, have, you certify people that they pay you for the training and you certify them as well so there's different ways of doing it or creating an online program from it so you take all the tours he's been on and all the videos he's done and you package them up and bundle them up and they can be sold that way to people who either want to do it on their own or who um what could work for me work for yeah. yeah so there's different ways so that's kind of I mean, my arm is going to give out, but that's why I wanted to bring you in with now. Do you have anything else you want to add? Or? Uh, no, I think, I think that's about it for today. Um, so that's it. So, yep. you know, again, anyone who's coming on here, I'm, I encourage you to go to AuthenticSuperstore.com. It's going to be the free five-day challenge that we are going to show you. I'm oh, one last thing. Part. I just want to thank my BFF for doing this video. I know. I came out of the bathroom. She's, okay, we're going to do a video. But, we're going to okay. do a video, right? My hair is horrible. <laughs> I came back from Wyoming, I was great, I woke up and I had no voice, and here we are. Well, it's definitely back today. So. I know, well, with the Ponte okay. Vecchio. All right.
behind us in New York City. So anyway, AuthenticSuperstore.com. Hope to see you guys there. If you're in Paris or you want to go to Paris, go to IPreferTours.com. I prefer Paris Tours. I prefer Paris Tours. E-Y-E? Like an I. Yeah, well, say it again right because I'm... E-Y-E, prefer pa I prefer Paris Tours. And AuthenticSuperstore.com. Sorry for the jiggliness. Sorry for the crouchy voice here. And... Um, if you have any questions for me or Richard, put them in the comments below on the replay and tag both of us and we'll get back to you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.